so do you remember that flat that I was talking about the other day um, that I just fell in love with yes well I'm gonna be living there all summer yay um, uh, I'll have it for three months so that makes me very happy um, I also got a phone call today about a job which um, I think I've got the job I don't know like I bumped into this deli owner um, the other day and he's opening a deli hopefully next week and Anyway, I made him a coffee on his coffee machine because he didn't know how to use it and now he wants me to um, train the staff or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be cool. So I decided, um, because I don't know anything about what Canadians drink in the way of coffee, I decided today to come check out Second Cup, which is their like chain. I assumed it would be like Starbucks because it's just on every corner. So I decided to come into town today and find a Second Cup and try their coffee and see what they, all the names of their drinks are and all that sort of stuff. Do some research, sneakily. But then, <laughs> guess what? I can't find one, which is dumb, because normally, um, like I said, they're on every corner when you're not looking for one, and as soon as you are... <laughs> and now it's like almost night time, because I didn't end up leaving the house till after four o'clock. I've been a bit slack today, so, okay. So I'm surrounded by French all the time, so I'm picking up some like French things and I feel like quite an epiphany about a couple of things like Notre Dame means Our Lady, who knew? And then I think, just from words I've picked up, I'm like foie gras. Does that mean cold fat? Bleh. That's not very appetizing. Um, yeah, because you have French all around you, you hear English all around you, but also on the metro there's a couple of occasions now I've seen people speaking um, sign language to each other I'm like wow there's so many languages everywhere and I look at these people speaking sign language and I'm like are they speaking English or French 